welcome to another video and another day of trying to reach 2300 rating on chess.com so we are currently uh, 1518 and we have had this exact rating before two games ago uh, when we had a loss then we had a win so we are going to try and get back into this um, and straight off the bat we are facing the england gambit which is one of my least favorite openings uh, to play against most likely because it's really tricky it's pretty bad for black but it's still pretty tricky and you always have to be careful uh, basically you just can't keep defending the spawn otherwise you're gonna be in trouble um, because of this queen check here uh, and many variations so i'm just gonna give away the spawn i don't need it and then i'm gonna see i i don't have any theory for this the only thing i do know is that i usually play uh, this variation where I give them back the pawn uh, and you can always take and then attack the queen and win a tempo um, but I don't think that's necessary you could also play knight c3 but then they always have this bishop move that also basically doesn't matter right because it's already defended um, I'm gonna go for the development. I mean, you can win a tempo by uh, kicking the queen, um, but at the same time, you're also wasting wasting a move. Um, pawn here, so maybe he's trying to push. Um, so the the question is, what are we gonna do? E3, but that doesn't really help. Yeah, it's a bit annoying to play against these um, these openings, really. I guess I'm going to play e3 because I just want to castle quickly. And it depends what he plays. He's probably going to push because uh, I can't capture either way if he realizes that. Um, but if we put the bishop here, we can actually recapture. The only problem is he will always have this checkmate threat. Yeah, it's not easy playing against an opening you don't know. Maybe I should study this. I'm just gonna try and play it safe and not waste too much time. Um, this blocks the diagonal. And then we can castle, but it's always a little bit scary. Uh, and I'm also thinking about castling queenside in many of these variations, so this is not really a problem. Um, yeah tricky to play against this but I'm gonna try and be a little bit more quickly because I'm already down two minutes so I'm probably gonna be more quiet I think I misplayed somewhere maybe I'll have to study something against the England but this is not something you get a lot because it's not so good from black but if you don't know how to punish it as I don't um, at least I haven't memorized the variations it can be tricky but I'm gonna see if I can castle queenside maybe. It's still possible to castle kingside in some variations. I just have to kick away this bishop. Um, currently that's not possible, but it might be possible in the future. I also think that maybe jumping in with the knight would have been a better move instead of um, playing g3 probably. I think g3 was another good move. 
This wins a temple. I want to capture, but this is like an in-between move to win a temple. The only thing is, if he comes in here, I'll pro probably have to play bishop f3. <sighs> but maybe I'll just exchange, exchange this knight and then this, this bishop can be exchanged, but it's not necessary. But I feel like there should be some variation where I win material. Um, you can maybe win this pawn, but then the rooks will attack the queen. So I'm not sure if that's what I want to play. Yeah, so I think I can take here and then take here. And then if he takes with the queen, I can take this. But then my king is stuck in the center. I want to move the queen, but I don't know if there is an optimal square for this. Here she can be attacked. Same goes for this square, so maybe queen d3. I'm gonna try something, but I'm not sure. I think maybe the putting the king on uh, f2 can be an idea in some variations. He can also sacrifice for two pawns. Um, but I don't think that's a good plan. Because we're gonna have tricks. So I, he is just playing really aggressive, sacrificing. I'm not so comfortable in these positions. But I think he's just giving away material and he's going to give away the game as well soon. Because he already has two rooks staring down. This could be a checkmate. This could be a windmill. And okay, my king is also not super safe. Um, but it's going to take him a couple of moves to uh, punish it. So, And this is a really big threat on the queen. So yeah, I think we are winning this. Unless if I'm missing something after d4 immediately. Which is what I thought he could play d4 immediately. I take with the bishop. And then probably he swings over a rook. But... 
like the bishop doesn't have to move the bishop just has to support the check so i think this should be winning unless if he sacrifices the queen for the rook and then also wins the bishop maybe that's a possibility as well but here the bishop is even though it's bent it's still uh, supporting to do this windmill technique and it's funny because i recently released the windmill chapter on a uh, patreon so i took a look at a lot of windmill positions to set up the chapter and the uh, lesson um yeah and that's some som sometimes something uh, people forget because a windmill is quite high level and he's allowing me to do the windmill but uh, that's not gonna end well um yeah i think we just take and he resigns okay so um we have 23 uh, free elo but uh, i don't think we had the best game we are gonna do some analysis and maybe i'll have to cook up some plan if i face the um this gambit again um, so apparently we play we played okay uh we played 82.5 percent accuracy but we did have two misses one mistake so it could have been more clean uh, we played like a 1950, which I think is a correct assessment, as I, I could have played this better. Um, so, uh, d4, e5, England Gambit. Uh, I'm not really sure what to do against this. Uh, I, I nowadays always play this variation with bishop d2. The engine doesn't like it, so I'll have to uh, figure out something better. Well, the engine always says, of course, you just have to keep this free pawn, but then you have to know all of these trick lines where they give you this check. You have to be careful. Um, because of course if you block you're losing the bishop um, if you block here sometimes you're also in trouble if you play c3 you're also losing yes yeah, so i just wanted to play this but i'll have to take a look at a better variation against the england uh, and then we got this position so everything is fine uh, i sometimes also play bishop here i think that's actually what i play more often um, bishop c3 because you're forcing the queen to move and then uh, you can just play a solid chess, for example, e3 and then develop and castle. So that's what I usually do. But this game, I wanted to play knight c3, which is a little bit better according to the engine because it doesn't waste as much time. And here the plan should be to just go for h3, bishop g2, castles. Uh, but I played e3 as I was a little bit afraid of this. But the thing is, um, I mean, this push can be played anyways. For example, after this, this push can also be played because I cannot capture. Um, so yeah, that's something I, I should have thought about a little bit more. And also the engine says this push by black is not even so good because there is bishop f4 kicking away the queen. Uh, the queen has to move and also guard this pawn. And then you can move the knight, kick away the queen. Uh, but okay, it's a little bit complicated to see all that um, in, a, in a quick game if you don't know the variations. Um, and the thing I missed here was this idea with knight b5, bishop uh, c3, which I did play, but I played it way too late. The engine says if you just play knight b5 here, you are already, um, yeah, almost have a winning advantage. Because of course, well, you can eliminate the bishop, so there is no checkmate threat after you castle. And you can also come here with the bishop, kick away the queen, uh, and also attack the pawn on g7. Uh, so... That's a good plan, but I went for bishop e2, and that's why the engine says this is a big miss. This is a big miss, because you can go for this, this, and then probably knight c3. Um, uh, bishop c3, of course, the queen has to move. You can take here. Um, the queen can recapture. Yeah, some variation like this, but this is pretty similar to what we got in the game. Uh, and the engine says that um, bishop e2 is a miss, because, well... If black plays c6, this plan is now gone. But black didn't play c6, so now this plan is live again. But I didn't see it. I played g3. And that's why the engine again says that g3 is a bad move. Just because c6 would seal the deal for black. There's no real plan for white in this position. Uh, this move was not so good as I thought. Because, well, there's no real problem. I can always castle on the queen side. And then I finally found the best idea, which is knight b5, bishop c3, and taking this bishop. So we now have a similar position to what the engine said is the best position for white. Uh, this is plus 0 
approximately, according to the engine, if you let it run for a little bit. So pretty equal, but slightly better for white. And the thing I was thinking about during the game was to go for this variation. But of course, it doesn't really work because, well, yeah, black can take here. You have to move the rook. You probably lose another pawn as well. Your king is a little bit cramped. Uh, I don't think anyone wants to play this. That's also why I didn't go for it in the game. And instead I moved the queen. Um, the engine says it's good to move the queen, but they would like a, a queen d4. Uh, the first thing I wanted to play was queen d2, but yeah, that's uh, a little bit of a problem. So that's why I didn't play it. And this position is also hard. If you look at this for white, I mean, you want a castle, but you can't. And you, you will not really move any of your pieces. Okay, you can always play bishop d3 or, or maybe bishop f3 but it doesn't really accomplish a lot so i want to castle on the queen side so i have to move my queen um but i think d4 would have been a little bit better in the end of course yeah moving the knight is just immediate checkmate and i was a little bit afraid of c5 but the engine is fearless and says that you can just play a queen here and then yeah you have a couple of plans here you can chase away the bishop castle king side set up checkmate threats you have two bishops aiming at the enemy king so uh, yeah, I, I missed this uh, ID. So I played queen d3 with, with good intentions, but it was the wrong move. Uh, because yeah, knight d4 blocks the diagonal, also causes a little bit of friction here. Um, and of course, yeah, you, you also can't castle queenside because uh, you would get a, a royal fork here, uh, the knight forking three major pieces. Um, and that's why I went for this move f3 and I'm quite proud of this because the engine also says this is the best move in the position. And I don't think this is an easy move to find. Of course, most low rated players would probably castle into the fork. Um, if they uh, have practiced enough tactics, maybe they will see that's not possible. But even if you see if it's not possible, it's a little bit hard to find a good move. And f3 is an interesting move. Uh, this knight sacrifice looks scary, but I calculated that it didn't work because well, the king just hides in the center of the board, uh, surrounded by five different pieces. And he's completely safe here. And at this point, it's already game over, as I said during uh, the play. Um, yeah, I thought actually black was gonna play a rook here. And then if I played this, uh, black has to move the queen. And then yeah, we have this windmill tactic, but may maybe in some variation, the queen can be sacked, but still everything is losing for black. I think he went with a little bit of a more aggressive move, d4, which is good. Uh, I can just take this. Taking with the bishop is the best move. Of course, you don't want to take with the queen. Um, that's a little bit devastating. You can also take with the pawn, but you're just blocking your own options. But still, this is winning for white because of this. You can potentially push. You can swing over the rook. Uh, but taking with the bishop is best. And then here I thought maybe there was some line where, well, black sacks and then they try and play c5. But of course it doesn't work because the, the windmill uh, tactic is still alive here. Um, so we got, we got a different variation. We got this with queen h4 allowing the windmill and then a black resigned. And if you are not sure why, why they resigned, well, this is a famous pattern. This is the windmill. Um, there are a couple of ideas here. The first idea is basically... You can just go back and forth. It's funny, as I just recently made a lesson on the windmill on Patreon. Uh, but the main idea is you can basically go back and forth and pick up all of the pawns. But that's not even the best variation. Because you can also, for example, drop back and then win the queen. But you can also, uh, after they move, take here, which is a really beautiful move. Because now we have a uh, double check. Everything is supported. The king has to go here. Rook goes here. And then... This is just a simple checkmate. Um, so I'm not sure what to say about this game. I don't think I played a terrible game, but uh, I, I've had better uh, better games for sure. The main problem here was, yeah, the opening. I didn't know what to do against this gambit. And that's a problem. I mean, I want to play d4, but it's been so long since I looked at the England gambit. I used to have lines against it, but now I don't anymore. Um, so I will have to study some lines against the England. I didn't think I was going to get an England at this level, but yeah. Uh, apparently it's still played at the 15, 1600 uh, rating level. I think the middle game was really good. Um, yeah, the opening was a little bit of a problem. The engine says and the game review was still okay, but I don't think it's that good. And the middle game was good. And then these tactics were also really nice. 
yeah that's it for this video as always leave a comment what your thoughts are about this game and uh, i'll see you in the next one bye